install i am using long curls from toyo trash i needed something really quick because we are getting ready to take my son on a few more college tours and i didn't want to be out there focusing on my hair you know what i'm saying so i was like you know what i need something that's quick cute low maintenance cute and voila this is what I came up with, but let me just give you the deets really quickly about this hair. When you buy one pack, there are six bundles inside of that one pack. I love them in a park, especially with styles like this that give you that really natural look. You just play with it until you get it to look like how you want it to look. You don't have to cut it. You know, you it'll just kind of layer on its own, and I think that is really, really cool. Out of the six bundles, I used about five and a half the one pack was enough for me and my dome you have to adjust according to your domology you know just go ahead and adjust you know you know what you need sis you know what you need but this one pack was enough for my head so i chose to do 
a braidless crochet because uh, I took a poll on Instagram to see which you would rather see. Um, the majority of you said braidless, so I went with braidless because I rock with y'all. That's why. <laughs> Probably the most obvious benefit of doing a braidless crochet install is if you don't know how to cornrow. Also, if you're not used to cornrowing your hair, it can really leave your scalp feeling sore if you're not used to braids in your hair. So braidless install can be more comfortable. Sometimes, depending on the style, it's quicker. You know, put your hair in a few ponytails, bam, you start your install. One of the cons of braidless crochet is it's not as secure, which is a pro for the braided crochet. It's more stable. It has a cornrow to hold on to as opposed to hair. If it had its choice of who to hang on to, it probably would wanna hang on to some cornrows. It loves the cornrows. It likes braidless. Braided crochet styles tend to last longer. Again, that goes back to the base, so there's no sliding. Eventually, braidless crochet braids, the pieces start to slide around. Um, a con for braided crochets is that it takes long sometimes. Sometimes braided crochets can do the most. I'd be like, y'all better do it. Y'all better do it. Y'all better do it. Cause I'm not doing it. Okay, so yeah, so those are a few pros and cons. So, you know, if you're going on vacay for a week and you want something, you know, solid, secure, I would probably go with a braided base. If you're doing something maybe for the weekend or something, you need something cute like I'm doing with this, something cute. So you need it to be quick, no fuss. <sighs> Make your moves accordingly. Okay. Yeah, this is cute, y'all. This is super natural vibe. I'm shooting with natural sunlight. I'm in North Carolina. So I know y'all just saw like it get bright. That's because the sun is back out and doing its thing. I'm not finna judge it. I love the sun. I'm not judging. If you guys have any questions, let your girl know. Hit me in the comments. Just let me know that you showed up. I'm gonna try to kick it. And I'm gonna bring you something else after this. So get ready for it. And until we meet again, I wish you all peace love and light. Bye.